Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be back on Project Fire Ranger. So we left off last time, we'd finished this floorboard. We'd done both of the body bushings. We'd went back and done the bushing on the back passenger or driver side. So we still got the front driver side bushing left. We was waiting for the undercarriage to dry. So that is dry. What I'll do is go ahead and we're gonna start with that. And then the next thing that we did was cleaned up all around the back glass. So if you remember, there was all kinds of duct tape and stuff where they had the glass stuck in. I've cleaned up the channel all the way around and then done the same for here. Cleaned up the channel all the way around, straightened it back out to where it should be. Now we just got to patch that hole there and just make sure there's nowhere else that is uh, pulling apart. And then the goal is for today is clean all this up, spray it with the uh, rust preventative primer and then I'm just gonna hit it with a black top coat for now until I can get back to painting the rest of the truck because like I said, I am gonna start driving it. So that's the big plan for today. Let's get that body bushing in, get all this, get this finished up, welded in, painted, and then clean up in here. Go ahead and get it undercoated and then we're gonna move on to building the exhaust. So let's get building. All right, body mount bushing is in. So you can see all this is undercoated. Get it time to dry. Looks good, just like the other side. So now, come up here, make a template out, patch this hole, grind it down. Then I'm gonna do some cleanup and some paint. So I'll show you what that finished product looks like. All right, so that piece is welded in and grinded down. I actually had to go all the way across and fix little holes here and there to get it lined up and then I took the grinder across the bottom, uh, leveled that lip up. So now that's all welded back in, no more rust hole. The uh, edge is nice and as even as I can get it. Let me show you from the back here. So that's what she looks like. A little rusty, I think it's been uh, actually leaking for a long time. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm actually gonna spray that with some primer and then spray it with some uh, protective coating. Let me show you exactly what I'm gonna use so we can see how its performance is gonna be. So I got the rust reformer. So if there's any rust in there that I get, didn't get to grinding, that'll hit it. And then we'll hit it with uh, this acrylic enamel, just some, it's a uh, semi-gloss black basically to give it some coverage. So while I'm driving it over the winter, it's not gonna rust until next year when I get around to painting it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up, clean up the floor, get all my tools put up. That way I can come back out here, sand this, sand the floor over there. Then I'm gonna paint this, coat the floor, and we're gonna let it dry overnight. But uh, in the meantime of that drying, I might go ahead and lift it up and see if we can't get started on this exhaust. So let's keep going. All right, guys, give you a walk around here. I've got all that cleaned up, wiped down. Same over here. It's cleaned up, wiped down, ready to spray. Door jam is also in the back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prime these areas first with the rust preventative around the doors here and the inside of the rear window and the outside. And then I'm gonna put the truck bed coating to the floor. Then once we let all that dry tomorrow, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put a seam sealer around all the welds just to make sure they're good and tight. Same up here, I'm gonna seam seal all this. I think the main reason all this was rusted out real bad was due to body filler. I still think that because it was everywhere, there was heavy rust and uh, it looked like it'd been put on there before the rust. So I'm gonna go with that, but let's get painting. I'll show you the end result. All right guys, prime day and painted. You might ask yourself why I didn't mask off. Well, look at the truck. Obviously it'll eventually get sanded off. Not too worried about it. So here it is still drying, semi gloss. Looks pretty good. There you go, there's the inside of the truck. We walk to the other side. And there's your floorboard and up there where we patched. 
So once uh, this dries tomorrow, come back in, hit all this with some seam sealer, go up through there with some seam sealer, just make sure everywhere is good and watertight. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and lift the truck up and see if we can't get started on some exhaust. All right, I think I can make an side exit exhaust system with all the components I've got here. The original pipe, it's got the flange that hooks up to where it originally hooked on. Some reducers, a bullet muffler that I had left over from another build, a 90, and then that flow, flow master uh, 44 series. So, first thing I gotta do, so I got a new gasket. So, I gotta pry this one off. Then I gotta build it as tight to the frame as I can to keep it away from the transmission because I think that's one of the failure points on these trucks was the catalytic converter actually rested pretty close to these uh, transmission lines and helped to keep them nice and warm. So my goal is, is to run it out behind the cab and come out right here in front of the spring shackle, which as you can see, those spring bushings. Fantastic, look great. Anyways, here's some paint, some old coating. Looks good, I like it. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get that off air and start mocking up this uh, exhaust system. I'll show you the steps along the way. All right, so I got the gasket cleaned off. So this is what I got so far. It's gonna come off air, come down, it hit my coupler here. It's gonna go back up and swing back this way towards the original mount. <clears throat> so right now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm almost to where I need to be, just with this straight section of pipe. Sorry, it's hard to hold the pipe and go. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is, is I basically end up almost where I be, need to be with just the muffler itself. So i say what I'm gonna end up having to do, because I do wanna put this on there is I'm going to cut this section out and put this bullet muffler in. Then, I'll use the section that I cut out to basically make the rest of this joint. And then, I'll take this and 90 out. Hopefully, about right in here somewhere so it's all two and a half inch except for coming out there so hopefully with these two the bullet muffler and then the flow master <clears throat> it won't be that loud because it is just a two three four cylinder but the bolts i need to hold that piece up are in my parts washer and it's really laid out so i'm gonna go ahead and call it and then uh start back in the morning with this and then hopefully we can get this transmission in get it in and then uh It'll just be seam sealing. So, catch you guys back here in the morning. All right, new day here. I went ahead and got started. Uh, as we left off last night, I tacked all these together and I tacked this pipe in. And now I've tacked this muffler in and bolted it up. So as you can see, we're heading right back where it needs to be as it was factory. It's gonna come straight up through here and hit that old uh, bracket. But at this point, I need to come on straight and then turn and come out to the side here. So I'm going to, out of these pieces I've got down here, I am going to see where I can get it to. I may come straight out of this into the other muffler because it's going to be about out to here and it'll curve it right behind the cab, which might be pretty cool. So, let me get looking and I'll show you what I decide. All right, I decided to go ahead and weld the pipe solid. So uh, coming straight out of the muffler, it turns 90 and it actually comes out right in front of this shock tower. So comes out right here. I'm going to add an extension pipe, but I'm going to put me an exhaust tip. But this is how the rest of the system will be. So I'm gonna take it off, weld it up, clean it up and get it painted. 
And then while that's being, while that's drying, I'm going to jump back under here. I got a new fuel filter I want to put in while I'm not cutting and grinding for obvious reasons. And then uh, go up there, hit some seam sealer, and then we're going to put this transition back in. Pipe is fully welded together all the way up through all these uh, reducers. So the next thing I, I'll have to do is hang it up to weld the last piece in to make sure I get the positioning perfectly right. But as that was cooling down, because it obviously is too hot to handle, I went ahead and cleaned up the uh, spacer plate. That is around the engine, cleaned up some of the connectors. Now I'm gonna clean my hands up and then I'm gonna come ahead and uh, go in here and put the uh, sealer around the bottom, drop it down, do all around the top so that can be dried. And then we'll put the exhaust back up here, bolt it on, weld that in, take it back down, clean it up and paint it. And then boys and girls, in goes the end or the transition. So exciting, let's get to it. Seam sealer is on all the areas. So I took and skimmed all the way around. It says the stuff takes like 30 minutes to dry. So it did take quite a while to put it all on as there was a lot of areas I had to cover. I done both all around the door over there, this back glass inside and out. And of course I done here and then I done up underneath so I'm going to give that some time to dry and then I'm actually going to go ahead and spray it black because it says you can spray it within 30 minutes. If not, if you wait 24 hours, you've actually got to uh, scuff it up like you would a regular surface. So I'll show you what I'm using here uh, if I get turned around. I'm using this uh, Dynatron Seam Sealer Gray. Got it from Advance Auto. I believe it's actually a 3M product from the instructions that it shows on the back but it seems to be working pretty good uh it does tack up fast and it tacks up pretty hard so i think it's gonna be a good candidate but we'll see how it goes i'll paint this uh letting it dry and then of course we'll have to get back to the exhaust but i almost think for this video if we can get the exhaust done the transmission's gonna be a different one because it is getting awful late and I have to work tomorrow. I am trying to get this project back on the road so I can drive it because I am driving my 01 Cobra and it has a leaky top. So it's con constantly getting water in it, but we will get there. So next thing to do, I'm just gonna start on this exhaust and getting it finished up. Exhaust system is finished and welded up. I just gotta clean it up and paint it now and probably add an extension piece here to get it out. It ends up coming out about right here. So I'll probably wanna get like a dual tip or something to take up some of this area. But all the seam seal is painted again. I went over it with some black to make sure it's sealed. Again, when I paint the truck, I'll hit all these areas and they'll match the truck and they'll blend in you won't see it of course that's under the gasket but under here is all painted up too so right now that is all complete all right so that's a wrap for this video please hit that follow subscribe button look me up on uh, instagram mustang jackson 67 when we come back on this build we'll finish up painting up the exhaust, putting it on with the new gasket, and then uh, change the fuel filter, put the transmission in, put all the fluids in, fire it up, and then we'll move on putting that back glass in, and then just some interior pieces and she'll be road ready. But thanks you got, thank you guys, and until next time, let's keep building.